Hey, Facebook, how are you doing? Listen, listen, listen. I'm not going to be on here long. I have to use discretion. Oh, I wish I could talk to you guys today. I can't. And there's just some things I, I am not being released to say because I know my page will be gone. Listen to me. You better pay attention to this thing right here. This is not about walking in fear. This is not about confessing I'm sick and all of that. No, 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 no. My people perish for lack of knowledge and understanding. You have got to listen to when the Lord is raising up remnant prophets and they're trying to tell you about plagues and viruses, gas lines piping, busting all over the country. And they're telling you about wars. They're telling you about different um, things that are taking place and they're manifesting right before your eyes. And the reason being is because why? Because God is in the business of protecting his people, his people. He is in the business of protecting his people, but you have to co-partner with God. You can't get revelation. You can't get accurate prophecy and then not do your part and then expect the Lord to somehow come through and protect you and deliver you and touch you when you will not do what he's telling you to do. You better pay attention my sheep, they know my voice and that of a stranger, that which is foreign, whether it is spoken uh, by a strange spirit and not the Holy Spirit, whether it is spoken by someone professing to be a prophet, a prophetess, an apostle, my sheep that know my voice, they do not adhere to what is foreign, what is strange, but those who know him, they know his voice when he is speaking through vessels to give you warnings. But this thing right here, oh, you better get alert in the Holy Ghost and you better pull up your spiritual armor and you better go into war. I'm talking about finding healing scriptures and commanding that chief prince because it is a chief prince, though it is using human vessels that have selfish ambition, uh, uh, selfish desires in order to control what happens to the masses of people. My God, Father God, you better get in the spirit and you better cover your family, cover your children and you better come up against the spirit of infirmity. You better come up against the spirit of death and tell Corona, you will not touch this house. Tell influenza, you will go, you will go and you will not exist in our organs, in our muscles, in our lungs, in our throats, in our bloodstreams. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound. Whatever you loose shall be loose. You better roll up your spiritual sleeves as well as listen, listen to the wisdom and the knowledge and the warnings and the revelation that God is trying to get some of you to see because things are happening right before your eyes. And so many of you, you're not paying attention. Did you not see all them homes blow up with gas pipes? Did not God warn? Did not God warn? Did he not tell you that the spirit of war is still in the atmosphere? Did he not tell you that traffickers and companies and organizations that this thing is bigger than what you think. Did, did he not tell you that they're uh, going all through different cities and states throwing out Kim trails? Did he not warn? He said, I warn my prophets before destruction comes. Yes, it is the best of times, but did he not say in November in 2019, it is the worst of times before us. He is pouring out blessings, but there are judgments. There are fulfillments of prophecies that are happening right before our eyes. And this thing right here, it is so not what you think as a believer and you better learn how to do war in your house for your kids as well as apply basic common sense basic common sense but spiritual warfare in order to protect everything that God has given you like your husband your wife your children the destinies that God is calling us to because this enemy is waging a war and most Christians are not prepared to even know what the word of God says to do battle. So stop being a mundane Christian, a Christian who just wants positive quotes. You want a euphoria. No, baby, you're in a real spiritual war. This is real what's going on. And remember the Lord.
see some scary stuff this year. 2020 is going to be a year you ain't never going to forget. It's going to be a year you ain't never going to play with because so much is going to unfold before our eyes. Even though wonderful things are happening, blessings, opportunities, things that God promised us. But at the same time, God said, we got to come up higher. You got to come up higher in prayer. You got to come up higher in knowing your adversary.